Did you hear that the Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas is out for roughly half the season due to an ankle injury from last season? Well, on top of this, Thomas is also suing his landlord for over $1 million in damages, which allegedly affected his recovery for the upcoming season. It's no surprise that Michael Thomas's ankle injury and surgery is going to hurt the Saints this upcoming 2021-2022 season. In September of the 2020 season, he had a career-threatening ankle injury that would require surgery. Due to unknown reasons, he postponed the surgery until June of this year. The two-time reception leader has career totals of 510 receptions, 5,950 yards and 32 touchdowns in five seasons. He was selected the first time All-Pro honors in 2018 and 2019, as well as three Pro Bowls. In short, he's a big loss for the Saints who are trying to find their offensive identity in the post-Breeze era of New Orleans. In preparation for this recovery period, Thomas had rented a home in Bel Air for $60,000 a month. This was meant to serve as the perfect self-treatment center during his recovery. The one-third acre lot has city and ocean views from its dining areas, outdoor fireplace, lap pool, spa, and infinity pool, and gym. Instead, this perfect self-care home turned into a nightmare. Allegedly, Thomas stated that during his stay in the home from February 4th to April 5th, the six-bedroom, seven-and-a-half bathroom home had malfunctions relating to the pool, garage doors, and kitchen appliances. On top of that, the landlord's unnamed representative allegedly repeated showing up unannounced, which is illegal in the state of California. Although the NFL star only paid $180,000 for a security deposit and two months rent, he is suing the landlord for over $1 million. He claims that the damages to his professional life was more severe as he attempted to recover from his ankle injury from the previous year. The owner bought the property for $4.35 million in 2014 and spent several more million on construction before the home was completed in 2017. The mortgage was $33,000 a month and taxes were $6,000 a month, he said in a separate lawsuit. Per the most recent record update, the property taxes were delinquent at the Los Angeles Assessor's Office. Unable to sell the investment property, the landlord rented it out via a broker who kept $248,000 in client payments for himself, he alleged in a separate lawsuit before Thomas rented the property. It is unclear if the landlord still owns the property or simply transferred it to another LLC, but Realtor.com shows that the property was sold for $5.36 million in July after the owner originally asked $19.5 million in 2018. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.